So what we're going to do now is we're going to pour this extremely hot liquid. Let me get the mitts. Yes. Excuse me one second while I get some mitts. Now, I do suggest wearing oven mitts. Now they might not have to be as stylish as this, but it's all about perfection and protection because we've done this before and we've gotten just a little burnt because this stuff is scalding hot. Now we've let it cool down a little bit. Now what Kevin's gonna do is we're gonna use the funnel that's here and we're gonna little by little teamwork. This is great to do with two people. You can do it with one, but it's easier with two people. We adjust the flow that this liquid comes in. It is very hot and it will jump up and splash on you if you're not careful. You want to pour it very slowly into the, into the funnel. And it's going into the ice cold water, which is going to keep that glass from breaking, as Kevin alluded to earlier. And you're almost done with the process for the evening. What we like to do is after it's done cooking, we'll let it cool down for a few minutes. That way you're not putting as hot of a liquid as possible in here. We'll let it cool for about 10, 15 minutes on the stove and then we'll put it into the carboys. Just a little bit in there. In the last bit of, in, in the pot, you're gonna see a little bit of sediment in there. Mm -hmm. We try to keep it from going into the pot. Just one little less bit that we have to filter out later. Okay, basically we're going to go for the second batch. And once again, you want to be very careful as we start putting the very, very hot scalding beer brew. It can burp and literally come right up on you and splash you with this hot liquid. And it is not fun. Now, the mitts might not be stylish, but they do protect you. I've done this before. And it will burn you on the arms a little bit. I don't need mitts because I'm Irish and we're accustomed to beer. Got it? Okay. Now, what we'll do now is we've got the uh, beer transferred. We're gonna fill the remainder of the carboys up to about the five gallon mark with some more ice cold water and at that point, we're done for the evening. We're gonna let the beer cool to about 72 degrees for ale, since that's what we're brewing. And then we will, what they call, pitch the yeast in the morning. And we will then obviously show you that here in a little bit. So the uh, final step is to top it off. So we've got five gallons of liquid. And this is just nice cold water that's going in on top. And it'll start cooling down the liquid inside the carboy, which is what we want it to do. And it normally takes it, what would you say, Carl, about 12 hours to start bringing it down to room temperature? If you do it in the evening, which we normally do, by the morning, it's not quite there. I'll usually check it at lunchtime the next day. So we're talking probably a good 12 to 14 hours. And what we're doing is we're topping it almost to about the five gallon mark. And I'll let Kevin know when we're there. There's a little mark on the carboy. And on the other carboy, there isn't the mark, but we'll bring it to the same level. And that will make sure that we've got the right amount of water for that batch of uh, beer, which has the seven pounds of uh, malts and the hops in it. Just a little bit more. Keep going. Right there's good. Now we'll go ahead and he's going to top off the next uh, carboy. And then our actual brewing process will be completed. Okay, uh, the brewing process is done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put, uh, instead of carrying these, it's back breaking sometimes. These things weigh, I don't know, 40, 50 pounds? A lot of weight. Um, they have these fabulous little straps that are built specifically for the carboys. And again, you can get this at our favorite store, which is? Homebrew Headquarters. All right, Dallas, Texas. Now, of course, you can get these at most brew places. Um, the easiest thing to do is you take these uh, bottles, barely lift them, Okay, we put the strap on them. They have a nice, easy, simple little clasp. Okay, 
Is it on there? It, yeah, it's on there. All right, we don't but know anyways, that. you can now take these and lift it very easily with two straps. You can do it with two fingers. It makes it easy, and you carry it to where you need to carry it. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the other one on. Yeah, it's good. It's okay. Good. It's good. All right. Okay. All right. We're gonna take. We're gonna take them back. Good job. Put them to bed. Tomorrow morning, we're going to pitch, pitch yeast. yeast. Okay. All right, let's do it. So now that after we've brewed the batch and we've brought them back here, they're going to sit here for a while and do their fermentation. And the first thing we'll do here so they can sit overnight is we'll just cover them with saran wrap. Just put it on tight. Just give it a little twist. Now they're sealed and we won't get any bacteria or any dirt or dust or anything into the carboy while it sits here.